Good morning and welcome to Sex with Charlie and Nina. Good morning, Charlie. How are you? I'm good, Nina. I'm good. good. I'm well. Actually, I'm bad. It's fucking <laughs> terrible. It's another storm. There's another storm <laughs> oh, coming. Mate. It has been fucking blustery as shit out there, isn't it? Yeah. Storm I think Franklin. a bird actually hit my window last night and it weren't mine. <laughs> like, from the outside. <laughs> I couldn't see the remains. Oh, there you go. Um, this morning, we're joined with the better half of SOS uh, clothing, Stacey. Hello. How are you this I morning? I am very hungover, but I'm good, thank you. Oh, How yeah. You? Well, you will get in these states, won't you? I will. It's a lifestyle <laughs> choice. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mark didn't want to come. No. No, I think so, he's scared. Well. Yeah. yeah. Can't blame we've got, him. We've got our theories, haven't we? Yeah. We are pretty scary. Yeah. Fucking terrifying. Yeah. But, you know. Well, that's well Some now. people aren't, yeah. Good. Some people aren't cut out for us at all, are they? No, they're not. But you know, there's always going to be marks of the world, isn't there? Yeah. Even what is mark. a mark of the world? What, what, what is that? <laughs> mark of the world yeah. is someone that is just scared of themselves, really. <laughs> As much as he likes to make out, mm. he's scared of us. Yeah. He is just scared of himself. He's yeah. worried about what he learned about himself. Yeah. The self-discovery. Yeah, yeah probably. Exactly. Yeah. He's in denial. That's here, isn't it? People say things they don't realise they're going to say, and then all hell breaks loose. Yeah. It's an education on you. Oh, look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got loads of questions for you. Okay, go on then. Well, no, we'll start with saying what you do, because, I mean... Someone's got a. Um, <laughs> Stacey's got a clothing company called SOS Clothing. You've probably seen him on. He's on the scene. He's right, on not the scene. all the time. It's lurking. He's out and about, yeah. yeah. Um, SOS Clothing. And more recently, buythatmerch.co.uk. Yeah. What's yes. that about? It's where people like podcasters like you can just have their stuff for sale and we print it and sell it. I don't know where you got that crap stuff from, but you know. So. <laughs> I'm only joking, it's amazing. Yeah, so podcasters, bands, people, anyone who's got merch can have it for sale, sell it. Where are we going? We're paying for it, basically. That's a bit of a good idea, isn't it? Some yeah. might say that it was a stolen idea. Um, some <laughs> might say that it was stolen or in collaboration <laughs> with someone from Hellfire, but yeah. Then, then Coincidentally, is where we are today, recording our podcast. It's actually freezing in here. It is I'm really cold. So I've got a proper nipple on, but I'm, <laughs> I'm committed now. I can't put my jacket on. No, I know. And it's video, and that's what the viewers want. So, yeah. yeah. Do you think you could print our logo on a coat so we can sit here with the logo out? Oh, yes. A fleece. Yes. Oh, a fleece. fleece. Yeah, wolf fleece. <laughs> wolf fleece. Yeah. Oh, wolf my fleece. God. Yeah, let's do that. That's a good yeah. idea, actually, isn't it? You've got to have one every now and again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's a fucking good idea, actually. I'll have all the thermals as well, please. Yeah, fine. Yeah, so let me know. Yeah. Size is fine. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Can you print on anything? Um, no. Any basically cotton, um, denim, anything apart from polyester. I can't be able to get into the science behind it. It's well too early and I'm too hungover. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so your company as well, we should say, because probably one of the better things about it is, well, the only probably good thing about it is that... <laughs> It's all ethically sourced. Yes, vegan. vegan friendly, ethically sourced. People don't die making it. I mean, we occasionally burn ourselves quite considerably, but apart from that, yeah, we're like the Bono of clothing, just yeah. not as wanky. Well, I couldn't um, believe that about you, considering well, you're such a reprehensible character. <laughs> when Charlie said, like, oh, it's like no one's dying for these sweatshirts, I was like, that fucking genuinely surprised me. Oh, I don't want it you now. Got people dying out the back of your place. I, I, want, I want a small person to die while <laughs> yeah. it's being made. It only I want to know what it's worth, yeah. <laughs> Rep- <laughs> 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 so, yeah. But, yeah, you should tell people. We told people last time, didn't we? Thank you very much. Appreciate okay. it. Appreciate it. I'll tell Mark that you're very impressed as well. Well, we're not impressed with Mark. <laughs> yeah. We know Mark probably brings nothing to SOS Clay. <laughs> <laughs> he brings everything. He brings the glamour. He brings the looks. He brings the brains. I'll be nothing without him. Wowza. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice, interesting little soundbite. Wowza. <laughs> <laughs> Wowza. I really should have been drinking Diet Coke at this early in the morning. No, well, it's funny that you should bring that up. Don't start already. <laughs> Stacey made himself a drink and then didn't make us a drink. 
It's the same like Aff. I shouldn't have to make the drinks. Yeah, but I'm you a were guest. making yourself a drink. And I said, is anyone want? I didn't hear you. I shouted down the stairs to you, put the kettle on, Stacey. Sorry, I didn't hear you. But who leave, Who gets himself a drink doesn't get everyone else a drink? Me. Yeah, I know. That's fucking unbelievable. And then, when you f- went and made me a coffee, you came back in with one cup and I genuinely thought you were joking. What? Because you didn't bring Charlie a cup of coffee. I didn't hear her. She... It's it's absolutely like it outrageous. It. It's absolutely outrageous. Look, Who... It's not the worst thing I'm going to do today. Let's be honest. It's going to be a horrific day. So that's just <laughs> start it off there. And this is going to go downwards. It's fine. I have blocked someone who I've known probably my entire life on Instagram because they called a crumpet a griddle cake. So don't that? think I'm not capable of cutting you out of my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> I've been blocked for this. It's fine. <laughs> I apologise for not making you both a drink. Sorry. I think I should get another apology. I think I should get two apologies because you didn't make me a drink and then you made Nina a drink and not me a drink. I'm sorry. So you didn't make me a drink this morning twice. I'm sorry. Again. Chop liver, isn't there? Piece of fucking trash, aren't I? (laughs) Just drag you out to the curb. Just leave you there. Throw me in that massive dumpster one. It might be a bit more comfortable. Yeah. They've locked that. Fucking, I need to sort out. Sorry, random. Um, Yeah. (laughs) I just went straight into the bins and they've locked, locked, to, they, they've, locked up, they've locked our dumpster outside of work. I was like, how am I meant to open it? I don't I can't figure it out. Oh, bless you. I oh, know. So well, come on, what are we talking about in ladies? So what we're talking about is what you're here for. What, what are any of us here for, really? We want to get and into it's, that. It's the it's the reason why you're here and Mark's not here. Yeah. Because you've recently had a very important procedure and I think it's very important to talk about it and okay. you said you were quite happy to do that. I was until you got all like proper like Jerry Springer staring down at me. some like glasses yeah, 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 yeah. down to yeah. you. I have, I've, I've had my balls chopped essentially or a sex me if you want to give it a professional term which everyone is yeah. really excited about. Because you didn't yeah. have a castration did you? So you no, didn't actually have your balls no. chopped. No, some people did think that they literally get cut off um, apparently. <laughs> yeah, um, and this like is why we need to have yeah. this conversation, yes. I think, because there's so many uh, thoughts that go through men's heads that they won't e- ever consider male sterilisation yeah. as an option for yeah, yeah. Um, contraception. And, like, if I've ever brought it up to like uh, an ex-partner or whatever, um, they're just like, absolutely no. Maybe because they just really wanted chance. to reproduce with you. Did you consider that? They just thought, I they need... They all want to reproduce with me. <laughs> Just leave their little fucking mark. Well, they're only humans, aren't they? Exactly. They're not made of wood, <coughs> and I'm a real catch, some might say. But, like, it's just something that they wouldn't even consider because mm. it's like a, they see it as a real violation on their body. Like, do you feel violated by it? Not, not because of that. I do in many other ways. <laughs> no. <laughs> not, not because of that, just being here. Yeah, I feel very... No, it's fine. Um, I basically just... Did, I've, kids are shit. And I've, got, I've got enough of them, let's be honest. And I was like, fuck that, I don't want any more. So, yeah, just get rid of it. Yeah. Have it off. You don't need it. Don't need it anymore. Might as no. well just chuck That's your old it. body in the fucking <laughs> skin. That's it. Have the arm, have the duff ear. <laughs> fucking, yeah, just cut it off, mate. And I'm looking like the elephant man. But was it your first choice for like contraception or like. Were you just like, That's it, I've had a fucking enough of this. No one's getting any more of this sperm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, being married was probably the first. Yeah, yeah, because once you're married, like you don't, you don't you have know, sex again. Don't have sex anyway. No. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah so and then out. yeah, and then you have kids. That's a form of contraception because yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 No one's having sex after they've had kids. Absolutely it's not. Enough hours in the day. No, no. There's too too many kids running around. It's weird. Why have you left it so long? Why have I left it so long? Because your kids are like a bit older now, aren't they? Uh, well, I'm getting divorced. So I thought, fuck it. Let's just uh, let's just get rid of it, basically. Yeah. Yeah, so I just thought I just don't want any more kids. They are shit. They're like it's literally yeah. like having a black hole and tipping your wallet into it but as well. Why didn't you? Whilst you, sorry to pry into That's your right. fucking relationship. <laughs> so many questions here. Go on, so, in things. Who was it? Um, no, um, <laughs> but why didn't you have a vasectomy whilst you were together? Did you intend on? Uh, or was it talks, no, it was talked about for, for a while, and then I was on the waiting list for about two years on the NHS. And plus, like you say, when you marry, you're not having sex anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, and then I just it kind of got bored, and I thought, fuck it, I'm just gonna have it done. So I paid for it. Paid um, for it privately. Paid for it privately. I wonder why the 
the waiting list is so long because I just thought all the men were opposed to it. Do you think there's like a list it's of men? There's been a bit of a plague going on, so non vital stuff. Oh, do you, what, procedures. do you think that's what it yeah, is? Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, non vital stuff's been pushed How back in the back. that non vital. Everyone's been stuck indoors for fucking two years. Just what do you wanking think everywhere. Doing? You're just wanking. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. wanking. That's, that's mad, it. isn't it? Yeah. So paid for it and it was done within about, I think about a week and a half. How much was it? Uh, about two grand. Okay, so yeah. that's nothing yeah. really compared it's to the cost of It's cheaper than the kids, the, um, but yeah. it's still bloody expensive. It's not yeah. nice. But it's, it's then, not. it's done, isn't it? Yeah. Hopefully, so apparently you only, it can grow back. Well, yeah. we discussed, and it it's can. really terrifying. It's like, fucking hell. Well, I looked at some facts about it. Okay, you probably know more than me. Because you did show me this spreadsheet, it, it and I kind of went, facts. not spread like this little like PowerPoint thing, and I was like, there was just pictures of cut open balls, like, I'm good, mate, just do it. It's like, just, I don't need to know what's going on. And it's like, there's a 20% chance it can reattach, and I was like, oh, well. What are the no, risks? it's not. It's not. It's not. No, it's not. What is it then? Well, c- according to NHS, it's like so slim. It's like ninety nine point nine percent. I will be that point one percent guaranteed. It's bound to happen. That's I'll probably end up end up coming out my nose or something like that, and just if something will happen, it's bound <laughs> to happen. It's going to happen. But yeah, apparently not. Apparently, yeah, it's fine. I d- yeah, I I knew you, I had heard that it could like grow back, which I hate the thought of saying something that, that has been cut away can grow back. I don't know why it doesn't happen anywhere else in your body. Like people aren't like sprouting limbs, are they? <laughs> like lizards, just yeah. everything growing back. It's weird, isn't it? Of all the things that you would need, but then I suppose the body is like, no, you don't need a leg, but you definitely need to reproduce because that's. I mean, life finds a way, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it's just men for you, isn't it? Relentless, aren't they? Just non stop. They just need to just <laughs> jizzing everywhere, basically. That's it. That's it. Yeah, it's weird because I thought, because we spoke, I thought that once you had it done, like stuff doesn't come out anymore. And I asked my brother about it, he had it done, and he was just like, what? And I was like, what? I thought it was a realistic question, but apparently not. Um, and he mocked me for about two days about that. I so. don't think that's a mockable question because I had never thought about it before. Neither would I. I thought it was just going to be dust. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> like a whistle in the wind. <laughs> So Could you be. still ejaculate? Yes. Hello. Oh, Hello. bloody hell! You're you got uninvited, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> listening with his little <laughs> cup against the wall. Yeah, he's in there. Yeah, mate. Oh, thanks Bye. for that. <laughs> thanks for not only mugging us off, you've interrupted <laughs> our podcast as well. Yeah. yeah, to ruin it. It was all going so well. Unbelievable. <laughs> Story of my life. Yeah, so back to ejaculating. <laughs> yes, ejaculating, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of ejaculating. Okay. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> well, because I don't think about it, or not... And nor should well, you. Just say I don't speak about it. It's well, like, no one educates it. you on it. Well, no. This is, it's not a subject that's ever spoken about. Yeah. Like, from day one, they're getting a women on the contraceptive pill. Oh, But yeah. no one is talking about about male contraception ever no. so we are now mm. yeah and when you think about sperm you think about like <laughs> I, mean, I don't think about it that much to be fair well, but when you have to think about yeah. sperm because obviously since we were bringing you here to talk about your vasectomy i've had to think about it worse is that i've had to think about your sperm but i've been trying to generalize it and um, but you just think that that is the liquid i don't feel you? physically you attacked by like that what's wrong with my sperm why are you not why so bad about thinking about I that i mean We've only got an hour. <laughs> so, um, but you think that sperm is like the juice, like in its entirety. I didn't think to myself, this is a separate thing because it's seminal fluid right? that helps sperm travel. That's the juice. Yeah. Uh, sorry to keep saying that. You've got juice, yeah, you I don't really know. Then. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what else Gone right it. off my diet coat and just put it down now. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, cheers, yeah, juice. Well, you just have this idea of like just... Sperm just being fired out, tiny little tadpoles everywhere, but it's not. Ready, set, go. You think it is? Yeah, because in the videos of the sperm reaching the egg, yeah. there is no juice. There is no juice. <laughs> There's no like hazy mist that they put over the camera when no. they're recording it. Is yeah. there? It should be more factual, I think. Make it sound like yeah. a seventies porn. Do you know what I mean? Like Vaseline on the lens, it's all like, yeah, yeah. 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 like wiggling along. <laughs> Yeah. Just one winner. Giving it some of that. Wow. And some body rolls. <laughs> yeah. Hell. And then they all stop and clap when the other one gets to the end. Like. Have you found out where they go yet? 
Because that's what we couldn't figure out what we were wondering about. Okay, so... so, so we, were, we couldn't understand. We, we were talking about it. We were like, just a vessel for sperm corpse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, where, did they end up just getting, like, stuck in your toes or something? We didn't know where they went. Well... They're still, they're still there, but they just can't yeah. get through. Yeah. I sort of had a vision of it. You know, have you ever drunk, like, too much water and you actually can feel it, like, sloshing around inside of you? I have the same thing with rum, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I still feel it sloshing around. Yeah. I thought maybe you'd just get, like, backed up to the point where you just, like, this <laughs> sort of liquid blob. <laughs> Well, I had a World War Z vision where the sperm would just keep hitting a wall and then eventually start building up and building up. Yeah. Until like (laughs) some sort of like tidal wave of sperm and then just break through. Oh, you just explode, like combust. Yeah. Yeah. And your ball sack just fills up with sperm, not semen, because the semen can come out. Yeah. So it's just all sperm. I'm mildly terrified. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, what if your body gets taken over and just completely animated by sperm? I mean, like sh- in Mars Attacks, where yeah. there's like little uh, 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 alien in like that, yeah. yeah, controlling everything. I'm literally just a walking pile of years, is what you're saying. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've been called worse. I mean, yeah, people say that about you anyway. I know. <laughs> just a massive sack of spunk, basically, yeah. <laughs> this would make a great horror movie if yeah. they just, if like your Attack balls just sperm, exploded man. and the, there was not- just these sperms just like bouncing around and swimming around. Just inseminating women. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, but they've evolved. <laughs> so because they've been what well, they can do, they can do like menial time. tasks. They can they can yeah. do yeah. grown like muscly arms. Yeah, and so like women are like themselves yeah. across the floor. Oh my god, that's horrible. And it's all because of my sperm. Thanks. I'm, I'm yeah. glad I can inspire. By a sexy Johnny. <laughs> yeah, this is my <laughs> idea. Yeah. Yeah. Before okay. Stacey nicks it like he does everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you have that one. <laughs> Um, yeah, what does happen to the sperm? Okay, so what happens to the sperm is it just gets absorbed back into the body because apparently sperm just gets made and dies in your balls anyway all the time. So it's already a function that's already happening. Oh. So your, your body just... So what you're saying is my insides it. are really smooth because sperm is actually quite a moisturising thing. So as it's been absorbed into my body... So is it the sperm that's moisturising or is it semen? I don't know. You, you've got all the facts. I didn't look that much into it. I just said, can you cut my balls open, please? That's it. To <laughs> <laughs> me. Yeah. So anyone, anyone, just have a go. Yeah. We are offering go. a free clinic, by the yeah. way, everyone, yeah. where we will be giving out <laughs> vasectomies to yeah. to I mean, white men. Go? Um, to what men? To white men. Only to white men. Because <laughs> we all know. Only to worst, really we. horrible white men. Okay. We're doing free vasectomies. March, want to go? No, you've gone. Okay. <laughs> Good. Is it sperm that's moisturising? Or is it seminal fluid? Oh my god, my Google, honestly. Talking about yourselves, kids. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm trying to work out how to spill moisturising. I don't know. Okay, we but, could yeah. be here a while. I, I bring the lulls, could I don't bring the brains. Oh, bless you, Bless you. Um, okay, so you've had your tubes cut out. Cut, cut out? Yeah, and cauterised back together, I think it is, and stuff like that. And okay. yeah, they showed me it, and it was interesting. And what was the healing time? Um, it's meant that? to be a few. It meant to be about five days, I think. Yeah, like right before you do anything. So you was awake when it happened. Oh well. yeah, love that shit. Um, I put anaesthetic, anaesthetic into my area and all that sort of stuff, and then cut me open. It's fun, very nice. Anyone who's listening, it's it's quite fun. I was off my tits. I'm oh, off, they gave me yeah, like this nice. morphine thing. It's quite fun. Nice dose stuff and drugs. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a reason to go. Exactly, exactly. So as well, I can't um, see anything wrong with what having it done. Yeah, nah, get it done. What's the problem? It's funny. It's like it's the best way to spend a Friday night with your balls out in front of four women and a man while he's playing about them. It's great fun. So it takes five days to heal. Apparently, so yeah, yeah. Oh my god, you're not going to believe this. What? what? I feel personally attacked by this statement that the notion that semen is beneficial to skin is anecdotal oh so you mean i've been whacking it on my face all these years (laughs) i'm worried about my face (laughs) it's just been drying it out it's just a joke from men i bet it was a white man as well Oh, of course. There's little... Oh, this doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, The patriarchy at work (laughs) again. Although it contains... There you go, love is good for you. Yeah, oh, let me come all over your face. Yeah, I know. And the amount of times you've, like, thought... Rub it in. it doesn't matter. That will... Yeah. Like, Have a bit of that underneath the eyes. Exactly, yeah. 
like when you need like a little bit of a refresh, you're like, well, okay. yeah. Well, it all seemed to make sense because yeah, well, people say it? it's like protein. Yeah. And that's good for your skin. Yeah. It contains nutrients, but um, I just like the taste it's of it. not that's really doing, beneficial yeah. to the skin <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. I can't, I, I'm, I'm shocked. So, my, so absorbing back into my body is not having any benefit for me either. No, Thanks. and also putting it, consuming it, or put it on, putting it on your skin, you're actually at risk of developing an allergic reaction. What to semen? Yeah. As a rule, I'm quite allergic. Semen to it. or sperm? Because now that it's two separate things, I need to know what it is you can be allergic I don't to. Think you're going to be able to extract, separate. Yeah, yeah you can be Super separating out and going, I have that. Yeah. I believe that. Through, which, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just another reason to have a vasectomy, isn't it? If women are having allergy, allergic reactions to. Uh, and now you all know. I just think that, like, that's that's fucking blew my mind. That has. I, I'd like to go into it. I should have done more. I didn't know that you were going to ask me. Sorry. Uh, so throw it out there too, guys. That's all right. Um, apparently, people are being told that it like helps with acne as well. Oh my god! I mean, there's no scientific evidence. Oh my god! So it's like I mean, if you're blowing your load on someone's face with like acne, she's probably too face. young, so you shouldn't do it anyway. Well, yeah, as someone that um, works with a skincare company. If I don't think there's anyone like funding that research anyway, so maybe it might be true. Just no one is funding the research for that, not out in the open. Well, this so if they start putting scientific like evidence, so yes, well, they can't publish mean. that kind of scientific discovery, can they? No, because, because then all the yeah. men would be like chained up and harvested, like on that <laughs> space thing we watched, like in Blade when they're just getting the blood out of them, but really they're just being. Massively wanked off and yeah. just yeah. Oh yeah, that yeah, that shit. Night like coming. Night, night. Well, what was it called? Night flyer. Night flyer. Yeah, and all the men are like, like going. Yeah, there's this whole spaceship. It's just full of fucking women. Yeah, it's like a sci-fi thing. So yeah. it's a bit like Star Trekky, where like people are just on spaceships in space. What is getting wanked off all day? Well, there was this one ship that they managed to get on board. And a spoiler alert, so yeah, fast sorry. forward a couple of minutes. Yeah. But it's really creepy. Yeah. They they go on board this, like, seemingly abandoned spaceship, right? And then they come into this room, and it's just all women. It's just all of these, like, women all, like, malnourished and... Yeah, it's all a bit, Yeah, and it's all a bit, like, creepy. Sounds um, like a challenging wank. They're like, how are you, <laughs> how are you staying Idiot. alive out here? And basically what they're doing is they've got one man in a room, right? Yeah. And this, you can see this it in the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they've got like this machine on his penis. Yeah. And all they do to him all day is just wank him off to get his semen out to inseminate their own eggs. Are you sure this was on TV? <laughs> it's on TV, like I swear to God. Yes. Bollocks, is this on Netflix? It is, it's on Netflix, it's called Night Flyer. Okay. Okay, so then the creepy bit is, I mean... That's, that's not the creepy <laughs> bit. No, okay. that's, the, that's the smart bit. Right. Um, they reproduce, um, they mix it with, in, in a <laughs> test tube, with the, with the egg, with yeah. the woman, and women's egg. And does it just grow in a big test tube? Basically. <laughs> like someone once said, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically they grow the <laughs> embryos in sacks. Right. Yeah. Okay, they keep the female ones... Right. And let them be born. Okay. And the male ones, they eat for nutrients and sustenance because they can't get food because they're floating around in space. Seems fair, though, doesn't it? Just eat the men and then just, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if you keep them around, they're only going to cause trouble, aren't they? Just jizzing everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And you can't have that stuff going to no, waste. No. <laughs> like gold dust, isn't it? It's fucking mental, yeah. And it's just yeah. this guy and he's just in there and they just discover him. And it's how just big, how big's the test tube, though, when, it, when, it, when they finally get born? That it's in. Yeah. <laughs> Are they upgrading? Are they going like... <laughs> well, yeah, they're like in these... It's like the like Russian doll thing. Like, like sacks, yeah. aren't they? Like amniotic sack. Yeah, they're in these like, like artificial like sacks. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this guy is like withered to fucking eat. And yeah. you just think like all these men are like... He's off all day. I know. He takes it out, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, but no. he's not even wanking off. No, he's just he's being just wanked being off. Exactly. He's being yeah. milked, yeah. And it's yeah. literally like this machine and it's like pumping yeah. up and down. And he's like having a conversation with the people that discover him. And he's like, oh yeah, this is my life. And then out of nowhere, it just starts working again. Yeah. Like every like... like oh, no. 
Hour Again. on the hour. I'm sure it? it must just be dust though by the end of it. Nothing's coming out. Like yeah. it's only so much. Literally. Well, there isn't though, because your body just keeps producing it, doesn't it? Apparently so. Yeah. But there must be a point where we might give him a day off. I mean, must, I mean, if they abducted me though, and they, they'd be really gutted after a while. So they'd be like, "Well, yeah. yeah." Oh god, yeah. Can they? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't, another I couldn't tell them. reason to have a vasectomy. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I'd just, just be, I'd just be getting like wanked off all yeah. day, and they'd be like, "Why aren't we getting pregnant?" I'd be yeah. like, oh, "Avoid situations like that." Awkward question. Guys, stay mm. safe. Get yeah. Sex to me. Sex to me. So if you're abducted by aliens who just want to wank yeah. you off, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the guys that like boarded the the craft were like rubbing their little fucking hands together, and the women are like, <laughs> 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 I "Think you're just gonna get noshed off?" <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's how we get them. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that was weird. God, um, scary that, spaceship full of women. Yeah, I know. Well, there's nothing scarier. That's why the patriarchy keep you down. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling very just uncomfortable in case here. So you'll just fucking get on a spacecraft and just start. Yeah, well, like yeah. machine wanking everyone off, basically. Yeah. Well, that's all we need you for, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't it? And the sell is that men think that that's their dream, and actually, it will be their nightmare. <laughs> so. That's <laughs> That's how men get All malnourished and wanked off non stop. Can I have something to eat? No. <laughs> no. Need the seed. Need yeah. the seed. But yeah, I don't have none of that anymore, so it's fine. Oh. Yeah. So. How long after can you. Or, well, not how long after can you, like, have a wank or have sex, but how long after do you want to? Has it put you off a little bit? Because, like, no. pain or just being like. You meant to, well, basically I said to him when how long after his knee when um he went give it a weekend have a go yourself and then you're good to go. <laughs> Did it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, because he said um this is the really nice bit. He said don't be alarmed if there's blood in it. And I was like, I can assure you, I fucking will be alarmed. There's blood, in it. <laughs> regardless of the I'm warning. I'm always mate. alarmed yeah. when there's blood. Yeah, in my there's jizz. blood anywhere. Like it's, it's something you need to worry about. But yeah, um yeah, I didn't. I, I had sex the next day. So. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're a real trooper. I know, oh, just a bit for the calls. Yeah, I know, but I think that's another selling point for men. Don't worry, you yeah. can have sex the next day if you've got yeah. the minerals. <laughs> Does it hurt? Like, what the sex or having it done? No, when you fell <laughs> from heaven. Oh. <laughs> uh, what one? Uh, when you had sex with your swollen balls, did it hurt? They weren't that swollen. They're all right. No, it didn't hurt. No, it's, it's fine. Disappointing, isn't it? You think for like one minute you're gonna have these like giant. Balls. I thought my brother said you're gonna have like giant black bruised balls, and they were fine basically. Oh. Sorry to disappoint everyone. <sighs> this interview is over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine basically, apart from stitches in them, and that was it really. Would you do it again? <laughs> what just for shits and giggles 10 out of 10 we'll do it again just like recommend it. to a friend well, you can do this when I'm scared I'm scared you? mate it's fine it's fine it, um, yeah I would if I, uh, yeah I mean yeah, I, mean, I don't regret doing it if you'd have not. known what you know now would you mm. have done it sooner do you yeah, think? yeah 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 much sooner ages ago yeah. ages ago Fucking, who wants kids to just shit well I mean aside from kids there's like STDs and STIs yeah so you know there are Pros to using condoms. Of course, yeah. I was going to say, you do realise that doesn't stop that. I was just yes, making I know. sure. Yes, I might have yes. another conversation. No. But, like, other choices of contraception are really... Like, people would think that a vasectomy is the absolute last resort, but I feel like it should be the first resort for yeah. everyone. I mean, you can get it reversed anyway. So, it's like, yeah. when you're going for the consultation, it's a bit weird. They're like, they ask you these questions like, oh, what would you do if your kids died and all that sort of stuff? And I was just like, well... What yeah, that, that has to make sure. Well, like, like you can back. just have another baby and everyone's all well, right. That's what I said. I was like, well, I'm not looking to fucking replace, replace them. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I was well, like, the he's. They, they, have to, they, have to, they ask you this standard set of questions. You yeah. have to, and then you think about it. And I was like, no, nah, mate, look at me. I'm fucked. I don't want anymore. He's because yeah. he's just all quite young. I was like, I am fucked. Just cut it off. I was like, I don't care. Just literally, I'm knackered all the time. Yeah. So definitely don't. So like, did you have to jump through some hoops to get it? No, he just or? gave gave him two hundred pounds. Um, he had to play about my balls, and that was it. Didn't even finish me off. Though. I was very disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very disappointed. Two hundred pounds. I mean, in right. the end, he did finish you off. Literally, literally. finished. Yeah, just yeah. Killed, killed it off. That's yeah, it. and that's it. And then you go back, um, and then the worst bit is when they put the clamps on your balls. That was the worst thing. If yeah, that was, why are they putting clamps on your balls? What's that about? I think it's because I, I didn't look, but from what I imagine is also them say don't move because then they've got to obviously cut, you know, your sack open. Basically. Um, so what they do is they cut the sack open, they pull the tube out and chop it, don't they? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't looking. So it's all done outside. So yeah, there's all, no, yeah. like... 
What little, I didn't get. I, I imagined like a little camera no, going no, in no. and being what, like. No, no, no. This is the thing, right? So you put on these really got the gown. I'm putting these really sexy disposable pants that basically look like a hamster caught in a fucking net. It's really. Have you got a picture? No, I did take it, but no, no. We'll put it up on you show it. afterwards. No. Why? No, no. I've already sent you the one on my balls because you want to see it for research, so you can have that <laughs> one instead. I did confirm it wasn't an unsolicited ball pick. Like, I did, are you sure you won't? Please, you know, can I send you a picture of my balls? Yeah. Yes, you yeah. may. Yes, you may. Thank you. Um, so, that's good to come hey. through. Yeah. <laughs> Sandwich van. Um, so, yeah, you lay down on the beds and say there's four women and a guy. I don't know if that's like the normal ratio. Um, <laughs> and then take off the pants. And the thing is, I'm laying there with my junk out anyway. And basically everyone's seen it. And I've got one woman like cleaning my junk. Again, didn't even like, you know. I thought yeah. it might, yeah. I was like, I paid a lot of money for this. Yeah. And then... Well, you want it cleaned if you paid that much money exactly, as well. Exactly, exactly. And then, but they're doing all that. So, right, everything's out anyway. And then they go, oh, it's going to cover you with the screen and all that. I was like, my balls are literally out. Everyone's seen it. I was like, what's the matter? And then they put the screen over. Is and the then, screen for you, though, to I, not see Oh, it. yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, definitely. No, because I was laying flat back anyway. Like, I can't see anything. Yeah, but if you lifted your head, you'd oh, see wait, it. And you saw them like... Head. No, but then I still could, you know, so... And then... They put it away and then pull your junk through this the hole in the thing. I was like, this is this is lovely. And I was like, so are you all staying or are you going to fuck off at any point soon? <laughs> yeah, the like, women are there just yeah. as spectators. They've yeah. got a ticket. Yeah, and then it was all fine. And he goes, right, this is what you should feel if it's working, like the, the painkillers. And I was like, yeah. And then he goes, and this is what you feel if I, if I go on a bit where it's not going to happen. And he literally stabbed my balls. And I was like, what's wrong with you, you fucking imbecile? Like, why have you done that? He goes, well, if that happens and you need to tell me, I was like, I will fucking tell you, mate. I know the difference yeah. between when something hurts and when someone's stabbing me in the balls. Yeah, do you? Yes. Learning <laughs> 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 more yeah. back then as we go along. <laughs> um, yeah, and then done that, and it was all nice. And he goes, I'll nearly finish, I went result. And he goes, I was just that side. And then showed me the pipey bit. And I really wanted to keep it. What did you want to do if it tasted just out of interest? I, I wanted to buy it and see what it tasted like. <laughs> I, find, I do it find that like a chill. I was like, does it taste like rubber? Does it taste like, you know, it's like you find something where you put it in I your mouth. It doesn't you? taste that nice, but I can imagine the texture is quite like satisfying. I'm imagining like a piece of macaroni. Yeah. But like a made of rubber. I don't know. Like a, I wonder if know. you can bite through it like a piece know. of flesh or whether it's going to be all like. Bristle. It will be gristly. It will be gristly. Well, you know, like, don't, 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 don't. like pig skin that's like not cooked. Yeah. Yeah. Like, could you bite that? What? And like, yeah. You know, you get like dog chews that yeah. are made out of like yeah, pig skin. Like what? Like when they dry them, dried pig yeah. skin. Yeah. Yeah. For someone that's so squeamish, Stacey, mm. it does surprise me that the. Th- First thought was, can I put it in my mouth and can I bite it? I was it? well off my tits on morphine at the time. Oh, is that what? Yeah, they give you this, like, it's like gas and air, but it's got morphine in it. And then I was like, let's have a go. And it started being really funny. And they said, I think you've had enough. I was like, I completely disagree. I was paid, <laughs> I paid 500 quid for that. I'm, gonna, I'm literally going to suck it enough. dry. That came out weird. But um, yeah, I was like, that's what I said. I was like, I'm having it. You ain't taking it away from me. <laughs> and then they had to wheel me out. I'm like, wee. All right. So in and out the same day. Yeah, well, they told me it was at seven in the morning. I got it at seven and it was, wasn't open. Then they said, no, you're here at 12.30. I was like, nice one. Just playing my whole day. Went back in at half 12 and then I laid it on the bed thing for about four hours and then went down. Yeah, and then I went home. That was it, really. Nice and easy. Do you think We've, it's to give people time to change their mind? No, I think they're just very poorly organised. <laughs> <laughs> just really That's badly organised. a great organized. advertisement. Being honest, you know what I mean? It was, it Did was, you have it done local? Yes, yeah, so I had it done in Southend. Oh. At the Wellesley, I think it's called. Yeah, which someone else apparently is going to. La da. Oh fucking! Here we go. Someone's doing well. <laughs> the rich white man. Yeah. I'm paying it over like a course of a year. It's interest free. It's nothing. It's fine. It's fine. You know, it's no, cheaper. I think it's really good. It's yeah, cheaper I do. than I having think you're, I think you're a hero for I mean, having you know, that. And, and telling people, yeah, I and you're spreading the word. Yeah, yeah spread you're spreading the word. The word. The good word of having your balls jobs. Yeah. yeah, because well, contraception is so down to women all the time. And I do really respect you for taking Thank that you. in your own hands without. I mean, that yeah, being wait. Fun. But like, if there was a pill version for the men, I'd, I'd be all over it. I yeah, but they don't even like, research into it. Yeah. No. There should, there probably could be a pill version for men. But yeah. yeah. But then when I remember when it was sort of like being discussed in like, it was on like some Google feed, and they were like, would you trust a man to. <clears throat> Take a pill every day, and I'm like, not really. I didn't even remember to make you two a drink. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So I must want to remember to take. I mean, that. I don't trust them to do anything. So let alone be in charge of what's going to happen eventually with my body. It's worrying. Yeah, 
but you'd like to think that some men do actually want to yeah not get yeah. a woman pregnant yeah fuck that well, I'd, exactly. I'd literally you... fake my own death if it happened I probably wouldn't even fake it, I'd, it, it would just be <laughs> Worst thing in the fucking world, honestly. Can you imagine having any more kids? No. <clears throat> nah, it's horrible. Done. Absolutely done. Yeah, and there's probably people listening going, oh, like, excited they got their first kid on the way. And I just want to tell you, you're fucked. Like, your life's yeah. over. It's done. That's it. Done. There's no positive spin on it. Well, just being honest, there's nothing. I just think once you... Once <laughs> that's, that's really bleak, I know. It's shit. It's shit. Um, yeah. But I think once, you're, once you've had them, then the stark reality sets in, doesn't it? But I was saying, I can't remember who I was saying to, like, what about seeing one kid make someone go, do you know what's better than that? Two. Yeah. And then, do you know what's better than that? Three. Yeah. And then you think, if you got three, you might as well have ten. I can't understand why you have one and then another to people that have done that. It's yeah. just, I can't even imagine why you got it goes two through. for the price of I one, know, didn't you? I know, super span. So you lucked out, really, because you might well, have Well, you say that. One. Bad luck. <laughs> Bad luck, maybe. I can't understand it. Like, I'm one of five. My mum has five kids. I'm like, you fucking mentals. Buy TV. Do something else in the evening. Yeah. Honestly. I'm one of five. Yeah, it's horrible. Um, like, why'd you do it? Mental. Why? But I am one of those people that had a second kid, but that was for the benefit of the first kid. Yeah. Oh, no. Because I thought only child. They're normally weird, aren't they? Sorry. Yeah, um, well, I do have an only child, and she is weird, but I think that's wholly down, down to, to me <laughs> yeah. being a weird person. I don't think it's got anything to do with her being on her own. Um, but when I revealed to a medical professional that I wasn't going to have any children more, um, they told me how selfish I was. What? Yeah. Yeah. That's and I weird, couldn't it? believe it. And they were like, well, and, well, who have they got then in the world? That's Fucking, a bit strong, isn't it? I know. And I felt awful. And the reason I, I was at this doctor's meeting was because I, I, I'm ill. I was ill. So the medication that they were putting me on was dangerous to conceive children on and I couldn't have that treatment if I was pregnant. So you're like, what do you want me to fucking do, die? <laughs> die? Should I just die? Is that not more selfish? Just take me out to the fucking bin. But they made me feel me so it. shit. They were just like, that is selfish. That's what she actually said to me and I was like, this <clears> is not. So you just punched her and left, right? Well, the thing is, she didn't know what I went through to get one kid. Mm. I could, it could have been like an absolute nightmare. And so. also, you are entitled to decide what happens to your own body. Well, yeah, that's your choice. If you want kids or you don't want kids, that's your own choice. Yeah, yeah. The it's really annoying thing is, it took ages for us to have kids, and then the fucking then I'm like, oh, nice one, cheers. It took two years, and then they fucking roll out, and you're like, that's my life over, isn't it? <laughs> do you know what I mean? I should have said the snip well in advance, not told well, anyone. Yeah, I know you can. Well, you can do all the things anyway, because okay, what? you can do all the things in, you know, in the pursuit of not having children. I was on the pill. Oh right. And I had a baby. Oh god. And I had sex once. So I mean. Guide. I don't know. <laughs> Locked out there. Great. See, See contraception doesn't work. I know. It's well, shit. yeah, it doesn't. But there's like this huge thing about it, isn't it? It's it's something that everyone has to talk about at some stage, but it's got this stigma attached to it where you're made to feel dirty about protecting yourself against pregnancy and diseases, mm. which is we- so weird to me. And um, my sister was saying, oh, sorry. Um, I could have, I could have pretended like that wasn't a thing. Beep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how awkward she feels to the point where she'd rather just not use protection because she feels too embarrassed to talk about the contraceptive side of things. Shame, isn't it? I know. Yeah. What well, well, worries me sick? Obviously. Yeah. Um, but it's weird that people feel that way, isn't it? I don't think people get it, because I was laughing, because I remember something my mate Scotty said to me the other day on the WhatsApp when I said, like, oh, I'm having it done, blah, blah, And he was like, I think he's a bit fucking stupid, obviously. But he goes, oh, what, why are you doing that? He's like, you know, you're young, and blah, blah, blah. He goes, you're getting divorced, you can just, you know, you should be chucking it up, everything was his exact words. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I can still chuck it up I, everything. I can chuck it up everything. Yeah, I was like, I was like, what do still. you think actually happened? He's like, well, I was like, it will still work. And he yeah. was like, it was like silence. And I was like, 
I was like, do you know what it is? And he was like, oh, don't make it weird, don't make it weird. I was like, no, no, this has got weird. Yeah. Like, do you think once I have this done, like, it just doesn't work anymore or something? He probably felt embarrassed because yeah. he doesn't have all the facts, but that's the thing. Yeah. People aren't giving out the facts, are they? I don't know, but I've, I mean, why would he think I'd go in literally and, like, make myself, I don't know, impotent for fun or something like that? I was like, what the fuck do you think's happening? Like, it's just weird. <laughs> I was just, you, know, you know when you try and process it in your head I was like what, yeah. what are you on about mate seriously yeah. you're just, to it's get just, to the point where you're like just cut the old thing off yeah literally just be, no fucking, just be a unit <laughs> fine, do you know what I mean just have a bag for the, the, yeah. Yeah, or something like that but unless you question it unless you unless you do a bit of research like I didn't know what happened sorry neither did um, I so if men knew that they weren't going in to just having their dicks chopped <laughs> off because I'm sure that's what they think. Well, that must be what they think, because they won't even consider it. Yeah, it's like a non-starter conversation. Yeah. So. I think I, I think a lot of it, I think there's two main things. It is like the men men thinking, oh, well, the women will swear anyway. Do you know what I mean? So that is, there is that, yeah. there is that kind of wank. And I think it is being scared about having it done as well, because it is a typical sort of male provider thing, but someone is literally cutting your balls open. And yeah. you kind of think, well, if that doesn't work or if something doesn't work with them, then am I a man anymore? Do you get what I mean? So there's yeah, kind of that course, thing about yeah. it. But I mean, really, I couldn't give a fuck, just chop them off. Well, if they said the only thing you can do is chop them off, I'll go, go on then. That's it. Do yeah. you know what I mean? If you've ruined them or something like that. But it just goes to show that like being a man doesn't account to you just having sperm. <clears throat> but that's what the thought is. Yeah. Like manliness has nothing to do with your balls. Is it? <laughs> really, it's a quote of the day. Well, no, but then we can tread on the transgender yeah. issue as well. Like, every there's loads of people that are like anti trans yeah. because they think what makes a man yeah. is a fucking penis. Exactly, yeah. So, if does you, a penis make a man? Yeah, man if you separate it like that, if they're like, well, you weren't born with a dick, you just think that's got absolutely yeah. nothing to do with anything is it well no because if i chopped your dick off which i'm going to do in a minute (laughs) would that make you not a man anymore what gender would you be then yeah so why do people find it so complicating and like so black and white i don't know if someone's saying that they're a man then they're a man like yeah all I'm going to say is in the last 20 minutes, all you've talked about is a bloke getting wanked off like religiously on a spaceship <laughs> and, and now cutting dicks off. I'm yeah. starting to feel the doors open a lot. What's going on? It's fucking very disturbing. It's very this is disturbing. why Mark didn't cut. Yeah, it's why yeah. Mark walked in yeah. with, fuck this, I'm Why out. doesn't Mark want to be here? So, Mark, are you going to get your dick chopped yeah. off? Like How much of a man do you feel? He just thinks of me like an episode of Saw and everyone's just fucking yeah. cutting dicks off everywhere. Yeah. Well, I think like if you tell people about the process... Because you're the first guy that I actually know that's had one. Like, personally. I, I've yeah. heard of it, but... I've heard the fables. Yeah, but I'm quite glad <laughs> that someone in our friendship group is, like... I wouldn't go that far, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> associate. Yeah, no, no one's going to touch yeah. you after this, Stacey. You're going to fucking need us. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, unclean. He, he can't produce anymore. Yeah. I actually know someone that had it done and then had it reversed. <laughs> yeah, I do as And well. then had it done again. Oh, why? Wanted another kid. Because, yeah, because yeah. he met someone else yeah. and she wanted a kid. Yeah. Oh, okay. So his he was kids. Like, one, are... I'll turn it on for one. Yeah, basically, yeah. No, so my, my, my mate, he had, he, had, he had three kids. Just get a little tap in there. And they were yeah. all like 12 to 15, met someone else, she wanted a kid, so he had it reversed, knocked out twins, oh, and then had it fucking man. Like, done again. And I was just like, mate, you're mental. But it just, just goes to show it's not that just bad. Just get a dog or something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just get a dog or a cat or both, you know, a hamster, something. I don't know. Yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Madness. And when it, like, because obviously the female alternative is, like, pretty final, isn't it? Like, sterilisation for women is, like, a... Can that not be reversed? I don't know. Well, you can have your tubes tied, can't you? You can have your tubes tied, yeah. I don't know how easy it is to reverse that. I think you can have it reversed. I think that is what sterilisation is. Oh, I thought it was like chemical. No. Like a chemical sitch. No. Oh. No, I don't think so. Why is everyone up in arms about that then? I'll just go and do that. Yeah. It's a day out, isn't it? Do you know what no, I mean? No, you can just have your tubes cut the same as a man. But it's obvi- it's more dangerous. That's the well, thing. Like for men to have that done, the risks are a lot lower than what it is for a female. Just blood oh. cum. That was the only risk. <laughs> well it all has to be done kind of internally and yeah I suppose like it's there's more, more of a cut open and there's yeah. 
it's yeah the risk of infection spreading to other parts of your body because it's inside okay. you and the men's testicles are like outside it's like hopefully yeah. there's a less risk yeah. there's still risk obviously but it's less than women that's why men need to be stepping up yeah. i think the thing is with blokes as well essentially you've got to get your dick out in front of people and i know they, it sounds no 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 listen dick out in front listen of that's yeah. i think that's like the like where people go like oh it's basically just you're like exposed you know what i mean yeah. it's like a vulnerability thing so is we said this before like, me and mark were talking about like literally every time you go to the doctors as a man and if blokes listen to their notice if you know you gotta get your dick out you can feel it retreat into your body it's just fucking weird and then like you drop your trousers and you, you want to say it's normally bigger than this and you feel like really embarrassed but he, he, <laughs> doctor, know, but doctor's been looking at dick all day he doesn't yeah. care do you know what I mean but and you're like, he's oh, like I yeah. know the anatomy of a body it yeah. definitely isn't everything exactly yeah it's not that's basically what you've got mate do you know what I mean that's it, it was like if it. I had a pound <laughs> yeah. and me and Nina were like yeah yeah mate yeah. Yeah. every time someone's gone it's usually bigger than this <laughs> yeah yeah, this never happens. When does it? Ha- where, where, when does yeah. it get bigger than that, then, mate? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I think I think it is that. I think people just like it's embarrassment funny, isn't it? How and being vulnerable. Got, they're going for something penis specific, and yeah. they're like, "Oh my god, this is the worst thing to ever happen to me." But then that reaction doesn't kick in when they're sending someone a dick pic that they're an asshole. <laughs> That's mad, isn't it? And did that, you don't go. It's normally bigger than this. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you yeah. don't send your worst dick pic and be like, "It's usually bigger." Yeah. No. Send me the fucking bigger one then. Yeah. What are you doing sending me the worst yeah. picture of your dick? It's not cold, mate. I mean, don't make excuses. Sort well, out. you prep it, didn't you? There's got to be some sort of process. I mean, not that I've ever sent a dick pic, but like... Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, when you get a dick pic, it's hard. Yeah. And when you go to have your penis touched by a doctor... Yeah. I'm guessing hard, you're not yeah. like you let me just, just like yeah. let me get that hard just <laughs> to impress the doctor. He doesn't think I've yeah. got a tiny no, penis. No, oh my god! No, can you imagine? I bet the doctor's like, oh fucking, here we go, another erection. <laughs> I did. I, remember, I said it. So I, was like, I was like, what if I get a hard on during it? And I thought, if I get a hard on while my balls being cope, and that answers, that raises more questions about me than it answers. It just I was makes like, you a bit more spicy, Stacey. Yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? It's something about me. Yeah. 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 I don't, well, yeah. I mean, you never know unless you try. No one knows what yeah. turns them on. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You don't I mean, know what you're I've got to be honest, I wasn't happens. laying there on morphine thinking, I'm going to knock one out right now. I well, yeah, it but, it you know, but you know that now. No one knows that until they've had the their balls. balls cut open, that it's not a thing. Yeah. yeah. And but it, there are men out there that do like that. Yeah. They're I've be, seen things. I've seen things. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen <laughs> dark <laughs> things. You don't know I've, 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 I've seen people getting wanked off on spaceships, you know. I actually saw a thread on um, Instagram the other day of this like Instagram model who was receiving messages, like voice messages from a guy that was like, would you operate on me if I asked you to? Uh She's not a medical professional. She's just some fucking bird off Instagram. And he's like, I've got all the, I've got all the stuff. All I just need you to promise me is that you're going to operate on me. What did he want done? I don't know. I just want to be cut open by her. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Like, I know people have medical fetishes, but like, I thought that sort of drew the line at like... Some latex gloves and yeah, some nurses KY or something. Like, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like not actual not scalpels. full on fucking cutting people open. That's too much. Yeah, Dangerous, isn't it? Can you imagine? It's a little bit. You've got to know how to sew people up again, haven't you? Surely, because you can't just be like, whoop! Oh god. Sorry, Dave. Yeah. You know what I mean. I mean, I can't really offer anything to that. I think that's weird as fuck. And no, I don't know if you look at me as if say, like, I'm like, <laughs> no. What, well, what, what, was my, what would you on do me? on this? Yeah. I actually yeah. don't think you're allowed to do that legally. I don't think no, you can... No, I think, can, yeah, you can't just cut people You can't... Over. Yeah, <laughs> without a licence. No, I mean, like, consent. Or to Consent to, like, cut someone. You can't, you can't consent to that. Can you not? No. You can't be like, oh, I asked them, because it's still criminal offence. What if you yeah. ask them three times? Like, you know, it's like, you should, like, you can definitely do this. Please, like, that's the thing. Please, please. 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 <laughs> you sure it's all right? You sure it's all right? You sure it's all right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Cool. Well, I, yeah, I sp- it's a little bit different, isn't it, than um, asking someone to do something freaky to you and there's no consequences other than shame. <laughs> like. Shame and guilt. Yeah, shame and guilt. And needing to shower uh, a lot. Yeah. Ugh. So there's. Yeah, but I suppose cut- spanking and that goes under the same. It's not cutting them open, is it? It's not. No, like, I know, but you're not allowed to like hit people, are you? Legally, you can't consent to being smacked about, can you? I don't know. You must be able to. Like when, like just, a little bit of like light spanking is not the same as like. I'm pretty sure everyone's going to need a fucking alibi if that's the case at the moment. Everyone needs to get their story straight in the world because, like, you know, it's oh, like runs into it. Where's no. it? Well, well, what the crosses the, the line of abuse? Of and Ray came out. People would have been breaking the law left, right, and centre. Yeah, and there's obviously like dominatrix and stuff. So I wonder what yeah. the I wonder what the like 
the cut-off point is. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Google it. Is it like just drawing blood is like the illegal thing? I don't know. Because everyone's like, every single fucking human being in the world at the moment is into like choking. Aren't they? Like it's everywhere. Yeah. But, so there must, it can't be, I mean, unless you actually choke someone to death. <coughs> It can't be illegal. Should I Google? I don't know. Yeah, right, I was like, <laughs> Stacy, <don't> <laughs> Stacy, what, what's your take on me? I think if you kill someone while well, you're you're fucking them, then that's not a good thing. That's I'm just going to go out and say it. I'm going to I'm going to say it. It's but not, that would be where the line gets yeah, drawn yeah, for yeah, you if, if they yeah. die. Yeah, if they die. Okay. Don't know. Oh, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, oh, what are you got? Oh God, don't, don't write Google on. choking no. into. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Um, an adult, but specify adults. Um, <laughs> what the what, fuck? What the fuck were you just looking at? I literally just put, is spanking illegal? <laughs> oh no, yeah, you've got to and be really I careful about that. And then I forgot that people Spank. call spanking, like, smack. Oh, I mean? Americans do, don't yeah. they? Yeah. yeah. That's her yeah. excuse as she's sticking to it. So. Yeah. God, my search history today... Hello, we're Charlie and Nina from the podcast Sex with Charlie and Nina. This podcast is being recorded and sponsored by Hellfire Creative. They are the first podcast studio in Essex. Podcast, video and photography studio. Um, Situated just 45 minutes from London. They're offering us a discount code for y'all. So you can get 20% off of use of the podcast, video and photography studio at hellfirestudio.uk using the code SEX. Easy to remember. Yeah, Are you just going to sit there watching poll and pretending to look at stuff? I'm just doing my research. Research, actually. Good day, yeah. sir. Yeah, no, it's just coming up with just, like, smacking children. And I was just like, that's not what I'm looking for. No, that's, that's not um, what you want. What else would you call it? Oh, how about is BDSM? Because that's, like, as a whole, yeah. isn't it? Maybe someone can tell us. Is there yeah. anyone that can be a guest that can tell us? Yeah, what the threshold is yeah. on hurting someone. I don't know. Looking at me, I don't know. Oh, it's, it's, it isn't legalised. What, so it is illegal, sorry? Yeah, and it comes under the same like umbrella as like body modification as well. Because um, I know that like you're not allowed to just fucking cut bits out of you and stick bits in you. People get um, what? like prosecuted for like cutting off nipples and things like that. Why would you do that? Well, because people have like an aversion to their own body parts, don't they? Right. And then have it removed by like a body mod practitioner. That's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. And I've just had my hands <laughs> open. That is honestly, I feel very, very like. For anyone listening to this, yeah. Stacey's now got his hands over his nipples, yeah. covering them up because. Yeah. I feel very like I'm like unwell about that. Why would you? Oh. Yeah. Like, Cut your nipple. There's a lot of like sensitive. It's a sensitive area, isn't it? Yes. Nipples. There's lots yeah. of lots of nerve endings well, there. Get like mm. a sort of like aversion to it. Like I've seen like quite a few people who've had like fingers removed and things like that mm. because they just can't live with it <laughs> yeah no, I bad. actually find no I actually find that quite relatable yeah because <laughs> I remember I feeling like no because I have had that with it with my own skin before yeah I've had I've had moments where I felt like I need to tear my skin off before yeah, yeah. write that down write it down yeah rip Charlie's yeah. skin off Get 10 o'clock Charlie <laughs> some <professional> <laughs> <level>. <laughs> Section, uh, Charlie, at 10, uh, 11 o'clock, yes, fine. Yeah, it's Offences Against the Person Act that's you know, governs it. Um, so you're not, you're not allowed to, but people think that you should be allowed to because you'd be allowed to choose what, what you so, do your so let's say you're getting down to it, right? And if you're bloke and a woman says, Oh, like, spank me, technically, you're not allowed to do it, is what so you're saying. You just can't consent to it. Because it's an assault, oh. essentially. Even if she's Even though she's saying, yeah. And like video proves all that well, sort of stuff. I suppose it protects people from it going too far because I know there have been cases where women have been killed specifically um, and the guy's gone, oh, it's like sex gone wrong. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, so. but don't worry because you'll get off on it anyway. There's yeah. no way men go down for... Accidentally. At, like, for doing yeah. it. For actually beating a woman up, they get let off. So don't worry, Stacey. Yeah. Don't worry about spanking. Well, so, so I don't beat women up. Fuck it out. I was like, don't worry about it. You just crack on, mate. Head about White men don't get arrested for anything anyway. So don't That's worry about the legalities around spanking. Okay, I won't. I was just, yeah. I was discussing it because people might be interested to hear it. I wasn't, oh, I wasn't checking to it myself. I'm see if we can just get some, uh, if we can get a guest who yeah. knows all about it because I would be very interested to find out. <laughs> very interested yeah. indeed. Yeah. <laughs> tell me what I can get away with. I yeah. mean, tell me. <laughs> Maybe we could get a police officer or an ex-police officer come on the show. Yeah. Good. There's a possibility. That'd be exciting. We can ask them all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Oh, mind you, actually, the law changes all the time because there was a new law, yeah. wasn't there, the other day about um, sending unsolicited... Oh yes, pictures is now legal. Yeah, as as well it should be. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laws do change all the time. I don't think it's governed at all by police. And I don't know how. Well, police probably can't enforce it. It has to go like above them. You know what they're like. They're not just popping around people's houses and going, "Stop sending dick pics." They're the ones sending dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> they're the ones committing all the crimes. <laughs> yeah, they are. God, don't we know it? <laughs> don't we know it? We do. Yeah. Sadly. Well, anyway. I mean, yeah, anyway so. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, on that note, mm. we've spent an hour talking about this. I know. Yeah. God, can you believe it? Time flies when you're having absolutely no fun at all. That's Did you so have a sex weird. story prepared, Stacey? Yeah. Absolutely tell? not. No. I have didn't. you not got one off the top of your head, like an awkward date or an awkward encounter that you can refer to or some, perhaps someone else's they no, remain, um, remain anonymous I, obviously I don't know what worst thing has ever happened to me sexually probably someone accidentally shitting on me apart from that yeah that wasn't very nice right speaking yeah. through you can't just that's, that's not just like a drop off comment what happened how do you accidentally shit on someone well I don't think she meant to um, it just kind of happened so doing stuff um, ex- no don't and, like, like no break it down what were you doing <laughs> where were you uh, in her bedroom Okay. Um, at the end of anal sex, and yeah, something oh. went wrong. Yeah, it wasn't very nice. Oh, oh, I yeah. think that's quite normal. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it didn't feel like it for me. Like you know, fucking like chocolate sticking lady. Cock up, stop with sticking 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stop stop sticking 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you're afraid of a bit of shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because what do you think comes out of there? I think you oh. must have known. But unless um, you're one of those people that think women don't no shit. shit. Yeah. No, they definitely do. Definitely do. Yeah. Oh, I, d- th- I mean, that's a non-starter. Sorry. That's the most entertaining thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, well, Sorry. I hope you weren't weird about it. No, not so. Oh, so, good. yeah. Well, there is that. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> hell, Stacey. How am I in trouble now? <laughs> um, I thought it was going to be like she accidentally shit on me and we were doing something really that was just not related to shit in Just driving and she just shit everywhere. you've got your dick up someone's ass. <laughs> like, what, I don't know what you thought was going to happen. It would be nice to hear a sex story where the woman sounds like the bad guy. But yeah. the moment you get a man going, oh, yeah, woman accidentally shouted me, it always ends up being... Because you had your dick on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. I'll, oh. t- I'll take it on the chin. Okay. That's probably what should have happened. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's it. I mean, I was I was brought in to talk about uh, male contraception, and now I feel like I'm being sort of, you know, personally attacked. Personally attacked. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, there's no shame in here. No. Especially not of women who accidentally. But the shit moment on we men. walk out our door, I'm being well fucking judged. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay, love. When the, when the <laughs> cameras are off, everyone's going to hate you. Oh, mate, you Basically. just wait. Yeah, I know. What about a pillow talk? We've got a pillow talk, or should we um, get some? Yeah, I do have a pillow talk, but I don't have to say it. I can save it for another time. Basically, it's not. It's too good to be wasted on me. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we don't want to waste all the good <coughs> stuff, so we'll go to some. No, shit we've had a ours. long. Yeah, and I think that's a compliment in a way because we have had a long conversation mm. about yeah. a subject, and we haven't needed to fill it with fruit it up our own yeah. pillow talks and would Just you rather googling yeah. spanking and stuff. That's you know that's the only breaks you had really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
I know. Well, I was less prepared because I was actually I'd written down a load of stuff this morning and mm. left my bed, uh, left my bed, left my book on my bed, and then come away without it. So then we actually last, well, I actually last minute prep. Charlie, as always, is prepped to the eyeballs. Wow. It's always one person in the duo who does things right. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, she is carrying the whole operation. Someone asked me the other day, what do you do? What yeah. do you actually do? Oh, fucking hell, mate. And I was like... Just have a look. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, just tits. That <laughs> <laughs> I, I bring I bring the boobs and that's... That's I mean, it. Yeah. 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 Did you have a would you rather thing you were writing down? You want well, to embarrass me? Well, I've got some me. would you rather. Well, I, I posed a little would you rather situation on Instagram because I thought that it would be nice to um, give you some, well, a little bit of light relief from talking about your fucking cut up balls. That's all um, we're here for is a bit of light so, relief. That's fine. Yeah, that's all we're all here for. Um, some of them were absolutely horrendous. Yeah, I'm sorry about that one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I wish you hadn't persisted <laughs> in messaging in. Um, and I think some people thought they were posing them to us. Oh. Because one of the would you rathers was, uh, be, would you rather be tied up and teased within an inch of exploding? Or. <laughs> there was no or. Oh, no, that was just it, basically. Yeah. So, actually, no, I don't want that, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Shame. <laughs> Weirdly, Shame. he's actually a copper, but uh, <laughs> he, he will remain anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, <laughs> um, one of them was: um, Would you rather get a hand job from Piers Morgan or eat broken glass? And then oh. there was a second part to it that was: What would you like with your glass? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the genuine thing? Wanked <laughs> yeah. off by Piers Morgan or eat glass? Yeah. How much glass? <laughs> well, it's all about the quantities. Isn't yeah. It? If we've discussed. Like, is it just like a little bit of, I've got to munch for a whole yeah. like, tumbler or something? Or what you is... need specifics, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. And like, is, do I have glass? to look at Piers Morgan while he's wanking me off? Or Well, how it... much glass would be too much glass for you to go to? The other, I the other side. Everyone, I hate Piers Morgan. I think he's my yeah. vice file. But do fucking you like, hate hand jobs? No, no, <laughs> no. But I also think he wouldn't be that good at it. I think he'd and he'd moan about it like a lot. <laughs> so just a normal night, a normal night, Stacey. A normal night, Stacey. Stacey. Like, sorry, <laughs> <what? Normal> night, <laughs> Stacey. <laughs> um, he'd moan about it a lot, and he just he'd just say like I don't know. He'd blame it on Megan or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if if right. So if if it was like, I don't know, right, if it was like a little like bit of that glass like that. Yeah. I mean, I cut my mouth open all that, but I, you know, you die when you wouldn't you die if you ate glass? No, like, people eat glass. It's like a like that's side not show. that's side not a kink. show. Yeah. I say is that a kink thing? I don't know. Um, it probably is a kink thing as well. Yeah, Everything's yeah. a kink thing. I want to say I do want to say eat the glass, but in truth, I'll probably let Morgan wipe me off if I'm being honest. Well, um, yeah, it'd be a waste of a wank. It would, really, yeah. So. And I'd make sure it just fucking went away over him like the festering just saying that he is. <laughs> I wouldn't do it politely. I mean, literally just it's fucking It's really covering. good for your skin. Yeah, have yeah. some of this, Morgan, you massive gammon fuckwit. I'm just going to glaze you, you fucking prick. <laughs> fucking hate him. So, <laughs> fucking hate him, I really do. Um, yeah, all right, give us another one. Okay. Um, and, and again, I think they were, these were posed to us. Um, it just said, would you rather stew or scrupulous pip? And I don't is that know what sent that. In? Yeah. yeah, it was yeah, yeah, just Stu and out. his insecurities. Um, <laughs> or was it Pitt that sent that in? <laughs> yeah, wants to know how the land lies. What am, am I? Am I being fucked or am I fucking? I don't know. Well, I didn't know if this was a. <laughs> what? a well, I thought it was a sex. I was thought yeah. it was like a smash or pass question. Oh, I didn't think it was. Well, I don't know. I mean, well, we know we know Stu yeah. by his yeah. own admission doesn't have a big cock, so. I mean, yeah, I don't know about it. But Pip. Scrooby's Pip I mean, doesn't talk about it, so yeah, yeah. I mean, so you can only leave me bit, to believe. Yeah, there's a bit of mystery there, isn't yeah. it? You're like, whoa, I could find out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I mean... I mean, they're both good-looking men. Yeah. I mean, and Stu does have that raw sexual energy, doesn't he? Does he? Okay, yeah. fair enough. I mean, I've, I mean, it's a challenge. Stu is a but sexy man. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, he yeah. oozes sex. Yeah, he oozes, does. Oozes it. Yeah. yeah. Oozes it. Yeah, I mean, literally. if you're going to go gay for anyone, Stacey, it's got to be someone like yeah, Stuart, isn't it? Absolutely not. Dwayne Rock Johnson's the only person you go gay for. I've told you this before. That's it. 
That's it. Oh. That, we, me and Mark talked about many times. That's uh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, now While we we're naked. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Mm. I mean, he's a fair shout, isn't he? He is, and if you're going to get beasted by a giant man, it's got to be that. Oh, one, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, he's fucking us. You ain't, you ain't getting a chance. Fuck him. He's, he's, he's doing it all. Yeah, I don't think you yeah. negotiate either, and you're nah. not really in a position to nah. say no. I thank mean, you. yeah, I have you in a fight, mate. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll tell you how this is going. Shut down. up, you little skinny white boy. If I can <laughs> yeah. take it, yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, this is sounding more like a fantasy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm not going to be able to stand up for a little while. Um, I think probably Stu. Going yeah. back to it, just because I just think like I think he'd be more grateful. <laughs> yeah, there's no way Pitt's saying thank you. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, mate. Um, Who mom, sent that in? Who genuinely did send it was that? It's probably in? Chris. I, I bet it was Chris. No, I think it, yeah, Chris Glassham. Yeah. Um, no, I think it was the beer people that sponsored you. <laughs> what love beer? Love beer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, love Which beer if you're funny. listening. Yeah. Have what we got any that don't make me look really gay? Um, <laughs> Which is fine, but obviously. Uh, someone said, would you rather have sex with your partner's mum or let them have sex with your dad? Or the roles can be reversed, like depending on your preferences, obviously. Uh, sorry, a bit of dead silence there. Um, yeah, I know. Let them, let them fuck my dad. <laughs> well, we have. So. <laughs> oh, it's a sad life, but I haven't seen him in a while, so tell, yeah. tell him to give me a call. He has me a few birthday presents. Yeah, it's the reason he hasn't seen him yeah. in a while. <laughs> just, he's, just, he's just tied up on a spaceship, just being fucking yeah. milked every day. <laughs> and he's just kind of... <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's a bit of a, like... A thing, isn't it? Like, what, you wank off my dad? Yeah, yeah, it's a thing for us, at least. Um, <laughs> no, but, like, have you ever dated someone who's got, like, a fit mum? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's the one, innit? Yeah. What did you call it? A forbidden fruit wank. <laughs> <laughs> a forbidden we know, we fruit know wank. someone, we all know someone, I won't say it out loud, but we all know someone who um, had sex with their mother-in-law. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, we all know we all know that person. That's a little bit sexy though, isn't it? <laughs> was it? And I was like, was it? and he goes, she was well fit, and I was like, really? He went, yeah. And then he showed me. I was like, fair play. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. What happened? We put his penis in her. <laughs> After, then, obviously, like, what probably, did the daughter? I don't know. Well, well, well they're not, like, they're not did together they know? anymore. Did what did they know? We're fucking. Well, no, well if it's no, like yeah, your so, mum has had sex <clears throat> with your boyfriend, that's fucking. Well, I don't horrible. think they're together anymore. But yeah, they they were they were together. Everyone knew who everyone was, and then yeah, they had. Yeah. Did it happen before they got together? No, they were together. Right? Yeah. So cheated on his, the the partner with the mother in law. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to lie. It's giving me a bit of boner, <coughs> but <laughs> it's bloody mad, men, it? honestly. Because he fancied her. That how, was it. How do you know it was a man? How do you know it was a man? Did you just assume the gender? I did just assume oh, the gender. God. Oh, there you go. Oh, what was it? A man. <laughs> Yeah. Right, okay. Well, that's <laughs> why I, I can Charlie. safely it's assume the, the gender of someone that does something like that. Yeah. But the but the mother-in-law still had to do part, you know, participate. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That, isn't not, that, that's a, that's, I think that's a proper wrong, like shagging, like, your, your daughter's... Yeah, I mean, off, that is it? bang out, innit? Yeah. You'd think she would have more loyalties to her. That is absolutely, like, disgusting. Like, yeah. I I'm glad I brought this up. I'm glad I shared this, because it seems like everyone's really taking it well. Yeah, well, I'm really... <laughs> That's I'm, shocking. I'm, yeah. I'd like to know someone. What? I'd like to know someone that done that. I've got loads of questions. If you, you're listening, you do know Dace's them. friend. Yeah, yeah, you do know him. Yeah, I've got... We them. know them. Yes, I said everyone knows him. That's why I was like, but I'm not going to oh, say Oh, we that. know them? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant you and your... No, no, everyone knows him. Who? Not... Fuck, you must be mad. <laughs> you must be mad. I ain't saying who it is. Afterwards? Yeah, obviously. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. yeah. As okay. soon as I know Ben's turned everything off. <laughs> Text yeah. me. The right. end. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We've got some gossip. Yeah. 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 I mean, we all know a fit dad, don't we? But I don't think that I would... Oh, yeah, I would. <laughs> I mean, I'll, like, what? If you, if you like, betrothed to his son. Yeah. Would you? Well, yeah. There is one particular dad. Oh, yeah. We, in I mind. Mean, we all know that dad, yeah. I mean, there is no way I'd say no to that. That's true. <sighs> <laughs> Nina just went into a nice safe space there for a minute. Oh, oh God, I was just thinking about not saying no to that dad. 
I'm yeah. thinking about trying not to say the name yeah. of the dad. I think he deserves oh, a anyway, yeah, <laughs> let's let's anyway. move on before we get yeah, into trouble. Well, yeah. I mean, that's uh, <laughs> yeah. Before you start mentioning people's dads. Um, I think that's really about it. To be honest Fair with play. you, it's, it, this has gone on long enough. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Story of my life. Yeah. Um, well, let's wrap it up. Everyone, follow us on Instagram and Facebook and all that shit. Twitter and everyone follow SOS Clothing yeah, and buy that UK, merch. Yeah. yeah, and if you want our stuff from Buy That Merch, get on it. And also, if you put in sosclothing.co.uk forward slash sex, it takes you straight to our beautiful, no one died for these mm. tops. And no one ironed it by the looks of it either. But apart from that. I don't no one iron irons it, you in this room. you fucking me, mate. I what do you that. iron? What do I iron? You iron. Yeah. Why is that so weird? There are not enough hours in the day for me to iron. Do you know what I bought? I love how this is true. Nothing else has triggered anyone, but this has really, really set you up. Yeah, I'm fucking, fucking ironing things. If you think I'm ironing shit, you're fucking off your head, mate. <laughs> but I bought this stuff. It's like Lenore crease release. And honestly, it is the most slipperiest substance known to man. I nearly killed myself. Walking, just minding my own business. It was on my laminate floor. And it t- it's like the equivalent of stepping on a magazine. Have you ever stepped on a magazine? Mm. That. It was like full on. <laughs> fuck! Like, <laughs> right up. And I landed on my back just like, oh. Yeah, so, I mean, I still won't iron. Yeah, that's it. I'm never going to iron anything <laughs> it's ever It's worth again. it. Fair enough. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Well, yeah, and also, before I was really interrupted, <laughs> <laughs> we're on YouTube. Hi! <laughs> um... So subscribe and follow Hellfire. Yeah. And is that everyone? Things. Yeah. Is that everything? Yeah. I think so. Thanks for coming. Thank yeah. you for having me. Cheers. It's Cheers. been great. That's all right. Can Bye. people reach out to you? Absolutely not. Don't want to okay. talk to myself. Um, reach out we're to put us. Some links up though for like some actual facts to <laughs> yeah. do with vasectomies yeah. and and all that jazz. Yeah, we got you. You're wondering. Cheers. Stacey hasn't got you, but we got you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you.